Hey everybody, I'm Jeremy from Blockchain WTF, and today we're going to explore the cosmos. No, not space, but rather a blockchain designed to bring interoperability and scalability between blockchains. Blockchains have come a long way in the short amount of time that they've been around. The past 10 years, we've seen the term blockchain go from specifically referring to Bitcoin to describing a whole variety of projects. Bitcoin made the introduction, but the technology didn't stop there. Of course, there are other projects that have popped up since then, but my point in going over the history is this. In 2008, we never envisioned a time where there would be multiple blockchains, so interoperability wasn't a concern. A lot has changed since the early days of blockchains as projects started to pop up, building off of the technology introduced by Satoshi Nakamoto, and that process has only accelerated. By the end of 2017, roughly $5 billion were raised by way of ICO. Several of these projects are coming up and they had no problem fundraising. Obviously, you can make a point that not all of these projects are going to succeed and I wouldn't argue with you. Some unofficial measures have 50% of the companies that have launched ICOs in 2017 are now essentially dead projects. While the road to blockchain progress is littered with these cautionary tales, there are projects learning from the mistakes of their predecessors. It's likely that there are going to be multiple chains that find success leading to a blockchain-backed world. One of my favorite things about blockchains is that they have so many potential uses. Winners are going to emerge in each field. But again, that brings up a problem that would have been very difficult to envision in 2008. In a world with multiple blockchains, we're going to need them to communicate and work together. Blockchains are all about efficiency, ideally. So what protocols can we institute in order to make popular existing blockchains work together? And how can we do so in a scalable manner so that these blockchains can work together to address real-world demand put upon them? That's where Cosmos comes in. That's where Cosmos comes in. They, along with a few other projects, are specifically addressing the interoperability issue while maintaining the goal of scalability. Cosmos is a blockchain that brings both interoperability and scalability. We've already gone over scalability in several previous videos, but here's a quick refresher. Blockchains in their current state can only process a handful of transactions per second. If more people want to use a network, well, there might be more transactions than the network can actually process, leading to a backlog. Several scaling solutions have been explored and is something that multiple people are working to solve, whether it be the Lightning Network, Segwit, or Raiden. These projects are all using different strategies to solve the same issue of scalability. And the other issue that Cosmos looks to solve is interoperability. All these chains have been built separately and we could envision a world where we want these chains to communicate. There's no protocols set right now to achieve that. And to get to a truly interconnected blockchain world, these chains are going to have to communicate. Right now, Ethereum, Dash, and Litecoin, for example, have no means of communicating or working together. If you want to exchange one from another, well, you're going to have to use an intermediary to exchange these tokens. And this gives exchanges unnecessary power and revenue. Blockchains are all about skipping the middleman, so it's no surprise that people are exploring chain-to-chain -chain transactions that could potentially cut down on the power of exchanges. The structure of the Cosmos blockchain is pretty interesting. Interoperability chains can be best described as hubs with spokes around them, kind of like a wheel. Each spoke or zone is a different chain and transactions can flow both ways. For example, you can conduct a transaction in Bitcoin that goes to the Ethereum blockchain using the Cosmos blockchain as a hub to facilitate this transaction. You could also do the opposite, Bitcoin to Ethereum. Communication between chains is actually a pretty difficult task since smart contracts are often written in different programming languages depending on which chain they are designed for. Now with Cosmos, this doesn't matter as it acts as an interpreter or translator of smart contracts, allowing different dApps and code to interact with each other. Essentially, this removes the language barrier that prevents blockchains from communicating. Another way to look at Cosmos is its, its own blockchain, it's a central hub, and there's several other blockchains running parallel to it. And Cosmos is the tool that brings interoperability between these parallel chains. Cosmos does have a native token known as Atom, but it is only used for staking, creating a penalty for any malicious actor. While Cosmos is the hub, the projects that feed into this main hub are known as zones, and each zone will have to stake in order to become part of the Cosmos ecosystem. So what do you think about cross-chain protocols? Any that you 
So what do you think about cross-chain protocols? Any that jump out of you besides Cosmos? Leave those down below along with any questions. Also hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell because that's like the new subscribe option. Thanks YouTube, it's confusing. Anyway, head over to Blockchain WTF for all your blockchain and cryptocurrency information needs. I'm Jeremy from Blockchain WTF and I will see you next time.